Hey, what's up guys? It is King Alpha here. Welcome back everyone to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the bot lobby glitch here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, disclaimer, I uploaded the same video a week ago and over 2.1 of you guys, 2.1 thousand of you guys have viewed this video. I'm so glad I was able to reach so many of you guys and help so many of you guys out. A lot of you guys, I believe over 30 people joined the Discord server asking for help. Luckily, I've pretty much been able to help every single one of you guys. Any of you guys watching this video right now that still need help with the bot lobby glitch, either I or some of my amazing community members in that Discord server can help you guys out. It is linked down in the description. Go click the link, join the Discord server today, be part of the Z Army gang here on YouTube. And guys, I'd really appreciate you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers over here on the YouTube channel, so I'd really, really appreciate it. Also, link down in the description is my Twitch and Twitter if you guys want to go follow me over there. But uh, yeah, so uh, some people were saying in the comment section on the last video, oh, this is patched, it doesn't work anymore. Some of you were saying that you were having issues. So today's video, I'm going to do it a little bit slower and try to help some of you guys out that were struggling and finding it kind of difficult and stuff like that so this video is kind of primarily for those guys that was kind of struggling I'm gonna slow it down a little bit for you guys and hopefully this helps you and you can do it with your friends and again if you do need help or you have no friends <laughs> uh, then you can join the discord server linked once again down in the description but let's hop into it so first things first both you and a friend is going to want to be in the multiplayer lobby um, best referred to players as player one and player two so keep in mind at all times I will be known as player one that is the screen that you guys are currently seeing on on your screens uh, and then player two will be my other account uh, which you guys are not looking at right now so just keep that in mind player one is me player two is my second account okay keep that in mind as we go through this glitch all right, follow along with me here. Okay, so player one is going to go ahead and join player two in a multiplayer match. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to join my second account here. Just like this. Once I've joined very easily, all I'm going to do is go ahead and back out of this lobby. Yes, you do have to do this. Uh, I've even wor wondered that myself if this is a necessary step. Yes, this is a necessary step. You do have to join that person before you do any other steps. But once you've joined that person, you want to go ahead and back out and then start a custom game just like this. Now I am on PS5, so this I'm gonna like instantly load into the match here. I will say if you're doing this on old gen consoles, you have a way higher chance of failing this glitch just because your load times are gonna be a lot slower. But you can see there I've already loaded into the match, we've already quit. So once you load into the match, just select a class and then immediately just back out. That's it. Just back out. And we're going to wait until we load back into the main menu. So here we are back in the main menu here. We're going to go back out of this lobby. And we're going to go down to versus bots and we're going to click on this. Now we're going to go ahead and click the star or options button, whatever it is on your controller. We're going to pop up the settings menu here. Now player two is then going to go ahead and invite player one for a total of three times. You can see there the first invite popped up. We're going to click... Uh, the button to pop it up and we're gonna click view player details player 2 is gonna go and send us two more invites here there's the second invite we're going to view details once again now on this third invite on this third one we're going to accept the invite now it's going to kick us out of the setting screen and then we have officially joined player 2 player 2 can confirm that we have joined Player 1 is then going to go ahead and click that start or options button once again to pop up this menu. Player 2 is then going to back out of the multiplayer lobby into the main menu with party. So he's going to go and click bring party. It's going to kick player 1 out of the settings menu. Player 1 is then going to click options once again. And then player 2 is going to go and join zombies. Just like that. Now... Player 1 is going to be kicked out of the settings menu once again. Do not click options anymore. Only should be clicking options for a total of three times throughout this entire glitch, okay? Do not click options again. We're just going to stay here. Player 2 is then going to go ahead and scroll down to the private option. He's going to scroll down to the private game option in Zombies. He is then going to go down to Outbreak and start the match. 
It's going to say at the top of the screen, contacting servers, creating match, blah, blah, blah. Player 2 is going to be waiting for the match timer to start ticking down at the top of the screen. Once it does, Player 2 is then going to leave alone and then join back immediately. He's going to have to join back pretty quickly. You're kind of on a time crunch here, so you don't want to take too long on this step. But Player 2 is going to join back. And you're going to wait for it to pop up on your screen. Now, I will say, it does not always pop up on Player 1's screen. So, Player 2 will somehow, sometimes have to verbally say to Player 1 that he has joined. You can see there, top right of my screen, it says he's joined. Now, I don't need to change the map because it was already on Global. But normally, you would have to change the map. Click TDM. Start match. You're going to get an error. Accept it. Options. Manage party. And leave the party. That's a very important step. If you do not leave the party... It will put you guys on the same team, and you don't want that. So make sure you guys do actually leave the party. Now we're going to go ahead and load into the match here again. I am on PS5, so it's going to be a lot faster than some of you guys who are playing on Xboxes and PS4s and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a little bit slower for you guys. But we have went ahead and we've loaded in here. If I click uh, middle pad for on, on PS5 here... You can see both of us are in the game. Now it currently shows we're on the same team, but that's okay. It's gonna fix it's gonna fix once uh player two actually loads into the game here. So I'm in the game. Now I am gonna have to kill myself, right? So we'll have to go ahead and put on like a C4, right? Because I am gonna have to well it didn't equip, but I can go over here and kill myself. So player two has just officially loaded, and you can see there on the side of your screen, Elo Light connected to the match. Now if I check the court uh, the scoreboard, boom, we're on different teams now. Player 2 has selected the class. We're going to go and kill myself. And we're going to spawn in the center. And boom, there is player 2. He has spawned into the center. And then at this point, that's it. That's literally it. You have a total of 10 minutes to kill each other and, you know, go for camos, go for challenges, whatever you need. You guys can kill each other. You guys are going to want to bring um, definitely a gas mine. This is a great way to uh, actually get your enemies to spawn in one location. You can see now that there's two different spawn locations, right? So if I want him to only spawn here, I would put my gas mine down right here. And then he's only ever going to spawn right there. And then I can just sit right here and very easily just get headshots all day long. Look, there's a camo right there. That simple. It's r literally that simple. Need long shots? Just go to either side. You can get long shots. Whatever it is you guys need, you guys can have it. I'm going to kill myself here so I can get my, my tomahawk. Now, do be warned. If you do not move the second player every now and then, he will get kicked for an activity. Okay? Uh, usually, if you're playing with another person, this doesn't ever happen. I've never had this happen with another person because I do use my other account. Sometimes it will happen. Why do I have an XM4? What the heck? <laughs> uh, but also, if you guys... Oh, I picked up a scan today. If you guys need ammo, there is a resupply box right here where you guys can grab ammo. Also, suggest running scavenger. But there you go, guys. I hope today's video did help you guys out. If it did in any way, shape, or form, again, guys, a like rating is appreciated. Hopefully, this video um, helped the people out that was struggling with this and needed more help. Again, that's what this video primarily was for. I went a little bit slower, more into depth about everything. So, hopefully, this video did help you guys out. Once again, join the Discord server and link to down in the description if you guys need help with this. And as as always, I love you all, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!